I even feel like I've said more I love you that I didn't really mean than the ones that I did. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Thea and welcome to another vlog. This is just going to be a sit down video where I will be talking about the five relationship advice I would give my younger self. I am 23 years old and I'm single for over two years already. Um, I dated in between, but technically the last long relationship that I had was in 2018. I started dating in high school, but the first serious relationship I had was when I was about to go to college, I was 17 that time and that was also my longest relationship because we were together for two years. What else? Well, I can say that my past relationships were not all rainbows and butterflies. They're not that good but they aren't all that bad either. I mean, let's just say that I learned a lot from the people I dated and from the things that I have experienced but I feel like I... I could have been better, you know, if only I was wiser. If I could turn back time and I could talk to my younger self and I would give her relationship advice, here's what I'll tell her. First thing is to only say things that you mean. I think I've only mastered this last year because I was a terrible person. Words are really powerful. They can either make you or break you. And growing up, I've always been this young, outspoken girl. You know, I, I, I'm really curious about things. I love adventures. I love to experience new things. So I always find myself in situations where, you know, I always put myself in situations where I dive headfirst. Like, I don't think at all. I even feel like I've said more I love you that I didn't really mean than the ones that I did. Yeah. <laughs> Same goes with the hurtful words I said to the people in the past. And I admit, I was a terrible person. And I really regret the things that I said to those people and they did not really deserve it. But yeah, words are poison. And I always give an excuse like, that's just me, that's a Scorpio thing. But I was just really insensitive and stupid. So please, be careful with the words that you say. You have to think before you speak. And it's true, you know, with what they say, na don't um, make promises when you're happy and please do not ever um, make decisions when you're mad. And also only put yourself into situations that you're sure of. Second advice is it's okay to say no. Okay, let me get this straight. It's okay to say no. You don't really have to agree with everything, especially if it makes you feel uncomfortable. Like, oh my god, if it does not make you happy, say no. If it won't serve you well, say no. If you're uncomfortable, say you no. Know. And if you're um, not ready for certain things, let's say for example for relationships, for commitment, for sex, please, for the love of God, say no. Learn how to say no and then mean it. Sure, there's pressure, there's curiosity, but please to understand that there is a right time and place for everything and you have all the time in the world to explore things and figure things out. Third advice, communicate comprehend and compromise these are what i call the three skis in a relationship it's true that communication is key but communication is nothing without comprehension i saw this tweet on twitter one time and it says Com uh, communication is key and comprehension is the door because you can talk and talk and talk but if you will not meet at a certain point if you will not understand each other if you will not adjust everything is just crap be honest with your feelings. Be vulnerable. It's really okay to be vulnerable as in. And um, if you're bothered about something, invite your partner. You can talk it out. You know, you can sit down and talk it out and figure things out together. You'll be surprised at how this will work wonders in your life. There is really no need to make a Twitter thread about it or to rant on Facebook or to complain to your friends about how shitty your relationship is or to spend an entire Friday night drinking the night away because they're not worth it. Fights and disagreements are pretty normal, but you just um, have to be, you know, you have to learn how to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations or conversations or confrontations. This is where honesty, vulnerability, trust, and respect come in. The fourth advice, follow your heart, but take your brain with you. 
I think one of the reasons why I settled with bad relationships is the fact that I was too scared about what people may think of me or that people may judge me based on my decisions and that's not right. It's really important to listen to your heart and to your mind and you know to assess the relationship. Um, well sure you can consider the advice of your family, your friends, your loved ones who really um, care for you but at the end of the day it's you. You're the one who's in the relationship and you're the one who's gonna make the decision and you're the one who's feeling all that feeling so you're responsible of your choices. Be considerate about your feelings and be considerate about the feelings of your significant other also because I am a believer that love is just a matter of choice and one of the best feelings in the world is being chosen by the person that you also chose. As long as you got each other, then you're good. But if your partner doesn't make you feel good about yourself, then it's time to assess the relationship. Focus on what truly matters and don't force things. The fifth and last advice that I would give my younger self is to learn and understand each other's love language. Late last year, my friend asked me what's my love language and I got really lost because I had no idea what that was. So I did my research. Apparently, there are five love languages. Um, it's words of affirmation, physical touch, acts of service, receiving gifts, and quality time. I did not really dig deeper into it. I um, did not uh, read the books about it, but I took a test online because you can see several tests online about like personality tests, um, love language tests, attachment, attachment tests, and all that. And I love taking those things. Um, when I took the love language test, it showed that my love language is quality time, then words of affirmation, uh, What's the third one? I think it's acts of service, receiving gift, acts of service, receiving gift, and physical touch. So that means, and that goes to show that I value spending time with my loved ones, like movie night or like, you know, the intimate dinner dates and uh, um, what else? The, like, you know, just spending time together with them, like doing a hobby, doing art stuff together, and all that. So that. That, that's what, um, that's how I express love and that's how I want to receive love also. If I had known this earlier, I think I would understand my past relationships better because they're really helpful. And you know, for example, um, you can't just give out compliments when that person just really needs a hug, you know, and you can't just give out, you know, gifts and all that when that person just wants your time. So that's, that's how love language works. Well, you don't really need to um, take the test or read the books or like do research about it because if you know yourself then you also know your love language like you reflect on yourself what what kind of love do you want or what kind of love do you give out to other people and you want to receive and it will work wonders in your life it's important to communicate it to your partner and to understand how you guys want to give love and receive love again learn to communicate comprehend and compromise and trust me it's life-changing you see, these are only a few of the many things that I learned along the way. <laughs> There's so many things that I would really love to tell my younger self. But yeah, these are just five of them and I um, understand that it goes differently for other people. You know, they're all based on my personal experiences and I'm not a love guru. And yeah, just take any advice that you need and apply it to your life. If there's anything that you want to clarify or ask about love or dating advice or relationships or um, anything about love, life, and everything in between, then please send me a DM because I would really love to share to you guys my thoughts about those things. Alright, that's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. You've been